Well, Richard Scooter Berry has had a winding football journey from an all-conference defensive lineman at the University of West Virginia to an undrafted free agent contract with the Houston Texans to the Canadian Football League. He's seen a lot of football, and he's also seen a lot of injuries, so much so that he even thought about giving the game up. But God had other ideas, and now he has Scooter thriving on the field again, albeit a little bit smaller field. It's fast. It's fun. It's arena football. This isn't your normal football game. And this guy, he's not your normal football player. Richard Scooter Berry had a successful college career, and his dreams, they were big. Everybody wants to play in the NFL going out of college, and I thought it would have been handed to me, and I think that's why I messed up. My mentality was very off when I went to Houston, and um, you know what, it didn't work out. But the Jacksonville Sharks, they were happy to have him, setting records his rookie year. The field is so small, so everything is really tight, so you have to be super fast, and it, it actually helped my game. While his game improved, injuries would plague his career. My last injury was, it was bad. You know, I, I tore a few ligaments and uh, before I got the operation, the, the surgeon asked me, where did you go to college for? So when he said that, I was like, dang, I don't think he think I can come back. And uh, I tried to come back too early in Montreal and I felt the rigors of that for months and I was hurt. Eventually, it would force him to give up his dream. Not just a surgeon that told me I was gonna have to start a career job, but it, it was a couple friends, a couple family members, like, listen, I don't know if football's for you, you keep getting hurt, and I just kept faith, I kept praying, and every time I kept going to service and I was listening to these sermons, I'm like, is he talking to me? Is he, because I, I gave up football, but every time I went to church, I'm like, dang, I think they're trying to get me back into football. Then I ran across the scripture, Romans 12-2. Right? Do not conform to the patterns of the world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, so on and so forth. And every time I was working these regular jobs, all I was thinking about was football. My heart, football. I'm like, you know what, I'm not going to go get this regular job. I'm going to get back on the field and I'm going to play this ball because I feel like it's bringing me to closer to my calling. I got back in the training and I called these guys and told them I was ready to come back and play ball and here I am. I just, I thank God for bringing me out here every day and it's funny because I pray and I start smiling because he's amazing. It just, I feel so blessed to be back out here and I cry a little bit. Oh, this, I was about to say, don't tell anybody, but it's on camera. I, I, feel, I feel good. It's, it's amazing. God is amazing. I feel extremely blessed. If you check my Twitter page and my Instagram page, I thank God after every game for getting me through this healthy because anything can happen, I know firsthand because I've been riddled with injuries. So it, it, told, me, it told me to keep faith and just keep pushing. What I like about this story is so many times you think about, you know, God putting his calling on someone in so many different areas, yeah. but you don't think of it for an athlete. God has called him to be a football player, right. and now he's doing it, and he's being a great example for Christ. So a fantastic story. Thanks to our own Lindsey Keith for that.